Oh, I didn't see you there. <laughs> I was just I was just writing the sequel to that. Um, I think the format, the new format's off to a great start. I would almost go as so far as to say that should be like just that should be the whole show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just I, cowboy erotica or ogre erotica. I was gonna go ahead and say that should be the whole book. Is like literally like basically like anything sexual, but like over top of the clothes. So like like how he was like sucking on her nipples before taking her shirt off, but like literally every every type of sex you can have, but just through your clothes. Yeah, I mean, there are there other types of sex you can have? That's a good point. I've never experienced them, but like they pe people write about them all the time, but yeah, like I thought that was just playground rumors. Mm. Yeah, that's possible. Might be that no one knows how to sa have sex, but who's to say? I mean, if if we knew, like if we knew how, it would be like normal for people to have it, right? They would have it almost even like potentially on a regular basis, like a partner. Yeah. But that's from true. what I understand, from pretty much everyone involved in this show, uh, which is really that's my sample for everything. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's not a thing. Yeah, I, I th my sample size is about the same size, and yeah, I'd say that's probably not not gonna happen. Paige, you want to weigh in? How many times would you say you've had sex in the last? <laughs> but hang on, Nicole. It's not. I, I feel like there's a lot of fixation on the size of samples, but like it's how you use the sample, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, and I mean, like when we're talking size of samples as well, it doesn't necessarily have to be like it, it should be like the girth of the sample, you know, like it should be a wide, a wide sampling. Right. Rather than just right. And that's why everyone currently involved with the show is committed to gaining weight in the next six months or so to increase the girth of our sample, like the width of our sample. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah, this is why our stats are only getting better and better. Yeah, absolutely. We went from one viewer to one more viewer. Right. And it's not Ryan. And, and that's great. So it's not Ryan. So. And I'm very excited to lose all of our viewers because we gave Paige a soundboard. Um, <laughs> I'm going to since this is your show, I'm going to put the the that blame at your feet. So you're going to put the blame of the soundboard at my feet. Yeah. After you've been insisting for three weeks that everyone get a soundboard. Because I, I, I'm, I'm hands off the wheel. you specifically messaged Paige. Paige is a soundboard. So that she could come. You and have a soundboard. a soundboard. I have nothing. So should I just be like making fart noises back at her to like. Is it should this be just like a fart noise battle? That could be another good pivot. <laughs> All right. Well, here we go. Yeah, how's that going? Yeah, great, you're yeah. nailing it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I I especially like how you place the keyboard as far away from you as possible. Yeah, well. It's that kind of innovation that's really going to stand us out. Oh, Louise, that tickles. <laughs> okay, anyways. Um, do you have anything you want to talk about before we go here? How, how are you enjoying our lovely city? Uh... Honestly, I, I I got a beef with the blue hoops. Uh -huh. Like they're impossible to get your car through. Yeah. Like I know that I know the stunt jumps are supposed to be hard, but like first off, there's I can't even find a ramp near them. Mm -hmm. Right. Like you got to use. I assume you have to use those little like you know double decker flatbed trucks when they're down. Yeah, exactly. They're never driving by. Mm -hmm. And anytime I'm trying to like set up my own ramp to get through the blue ring the cops get all mad like is that even how that's not and that's not illegal yeah i mean that's i haven't why hit anyone there, with right? my car yet yeah so. it's like quidditch but with cars right to get it through the hoop so it's not yeah it's, it hasn't been a great visit um but i'm i don't know i'm hopeful i'll get it next time i just i probably should have planned more i spent too much time thinking about you know bringing all these cameras down and not enough time thinking about how i'm going to get through the hoop or mm -hmm. I don't even know what you're supposed to do with the giant like mesh head downtown. Like what's what's the what's the achievement there? That's a uh, yeah, that's valid. Um, well, luckily, to tell us more about Calgary, mm -hmm. we've uh, we've searched long and wide, uh, but not deep to to get uh, a local guest on this the occasion that we are both in. Uh, your city instead of mine. And it's actually great that our guest today is a art expert. Yeah, art city. I couldn't really 
beat my entrance last time. It was pretty great. I kind of like jumped over and twirled in. Yeah, uh, that See, was impossible. We, we've here. already fucked up again because my understanding was that we were supposed to put a mustache on you, and you were going to be like, uh, you're going to say your name was like uh, Akim, and that you were an actual Calgarian that we sourced out while we were down here. But well, I feel like we've already blown our cover. Why didn't that happen, guys? Oh, Kelly was supposed to bring the mustache. He said he was going to harvest it from his head hair, but then he didn't have any. So. <laughs> well, maybe we can make one. <laughs> yeah, well, I I assume that's what you've brought is just like mustache props. Basically. Okay. So I'm Mr. Hands Off the Wheel. Nicole is the soon-to-be Mrs. Hands Off the Wheel. <laughs> it's just that that's uh, incidentally also Ryan's last name. Mm-hmm. Um, this is what we should actually talk about. We're here to plan Nicole's wedding. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's a whole thing. So what are your colors? Um, so kind of this shade of green um, okay. with like. Oh, keep talking, keep talking. I'm doing my best. Keep... <laughs> um, yeah, so like we definitely like this shade of green. Um, and then like if you've ever seen like sh- if you've ever seen Shrek, the like also the vest that he's wearing. So like this shade of green and then like just like a crap brown mostly. Do you have any any thoughts on where we could take that? Do you want a third color or? That's a good question. Would you, what would you recommend as a third color? I would go with pink for sure. <laughs> yeah. I, I knew mean, you were going to say how, that. Look at how beautiful those are together, guys. That is pretty great. I feel like people whose crap isn't like within the tolerance of that shade of brown is going to feel really left out. They'll be like, welcome to our crap brown wedding. And all the people with like really black, you know, outputs are going to be. Like they're just going to feel, they're going to feel poop shamed. Yeah, I mean, it's, if your poop is black, you should probably go see a doctor anyways. I think actually it's a, what, an idea. Like, you know how you have like interactive things at your wedding? It Ideas sounds to me like she doesn't want people with medical conditions at her wedding. You know, there's going to be a sign that says so like, if you should be at a doctor right now, fuck off. <laughs> so this is the thing. Right. Is I was, you know, it's not that we don't want them there. It's just we want them to be aware. So like, I'm thinking like maybe like all along the wall is just like one of those scales. that's like, what color is your poop? And what does that mean that for you? Like, what does that mean that you need more of in your diet? And then it'll match up with our buffet. Oh, you could um, seat people accordingly. Like so instead of I... bridegroom side, you just have like dark, <laughs> <Yeah>. dark tones, <laughs> light tones. Have a color. Do color. I get an invite? Cause, um, this is really tempting. Yeah. Come on down. Great. <laughs> but then you're going to have then everyone's going to know what your poop's like because they're going to look up where you're sitting and you're you're a public figure now. It's an honor for them. I don't know what. <laughs> OK, I just I just want you to be aware uh, that because, I mean, you have the power to change it. Like I said, you're in charge of planning Nicole's wedding. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Um, Could you do one of those big paint by numbers and just have only those colors, all the poop colors and everyone mm-hmm. can go up and you can only paint with your own color. I'm liking this. This is getting more and more interactive yeah like the only thing nicole has insisted on uh because she's she's wedding gloves off the wheel for most of the wedding but she does insist on um her and ryan do get to write the vows and she said her vows are going to uh come out of that book right there mm-hmm. yeah do you want to tell us a little about that book and why why you've chosen your vows from it uh yeah absolutely it's uh really close to my heart it's uh based in calgary um <laughs> fabulous i i love the how informative this graphic is uh you know as we can see uh yellow means this color is normally up oh, that's it's just normal yeah normally i believe these are all normal. marmot is pressed fed bubbles that's mm-hmm. yellow so yeah sorry do you want to run that by me again <laughs> This color is totally marmot breastfed bubbles. That's what it's. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, that's 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 what my doctor told me to expect. Yeah. <laughs> Yellow poop. I'm surprised yeah. to see that red is in a healthy color because, like, the amount of times <laughs> can I can, can, can count the amount of times that I've been like, woo, red poop. <laughs> like you know, you got it's like one of those like you got to collect every color sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> Which ones are you missing? Um, so far, just brown and green. <laughs> like all the shades of brown? Like you haven't gotten? Because there's at least, I'm going to say at least two shades of brown. Mm. Um, yeah. Yeah, mostly mostly brown and green. I usually, usually it's like a yellow, orange to yellow to red color, but that's like normal though, right? 
Yeah, I mean, I think as we've established, all the colors are normal. Yeah, right. Fair. I'm ready to move on. Yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah, we could move on to that asparagus discussion that we were having yesterday, which is like, what is the normal amount of asparagus for a person to eat that at which it changes the scent uh, of their piss? One. That, that That's the standard. One. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. So you're on team Nicole's grandma. No, no, no. My grandma's pee doesn't smell when she eats asparagus. She's told me very plainly. She was surprised that mine smelled when I eat asparagus. Man, I can't keep up with this. Yeah. I'm going to, like, fail this, like, anatomy test I have coming up. Like, I just, I can't <laughs> understand the colors. I can't understand the smells. The anatomy spell, the anatomy test that's particular, like, specifically just involving me and my family and what our <laughs> bowel movements look like and what our yeah, the one you like. enclosed with the wedding invitation, <laughs> yeah. saying like you need to get eighty percent or higher, uh, if you want, if you want to come. Mm-hmm. It's very, very demanding. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well. So you, I it, sent up a study if guide. you're not good at taking tests, you might end up in an awkward situation where like you plan her whole wedding, but you're not allowed to attend. Mm. I was going to say you end up in an awkward situation where you walk up to my grandma and you go up to her and start a conversation assuming that her pee smells after she eats asparagus and embarrass yourself because clearly that's not the case. Oh, no. I got I got the whole conversation planned out for when I walk up to your grandma. So why was this a topic you guys decided to have on the show? <laughs> well, you got to think of these things when you're planning a wedding. Oh. Like that's just that's just the basics. Is everyone like giving a urinal sample and you're going to smell it just to make sure and then they can come they can come in. I mean, it's not that it's not about their urine so much as just them knowing what my urine is like. But yeah, there will be asparagus there. And if they do want to like sample, there'll be there'll be materials if they want to sample themselves. But I'm not gonna <laughs> sure. She's already out of control. <laughs> this was a mistake. Where's the wedding happening or nothing is planned? Um, it'll be in Eppington, so. Wow. So the whole city is going to get taken over by pea smell? <laughs> asparagus pea smell. Mm-hmm. Well, are you serving asparagus? Have we talked about what the meals are going to be? I just said I was serving asparagus. Okay, well, I wasn't listening. I was trying to text Paige. Mm-hmm. <laughs> are you telling her to cool it with a soundboard? You can just would, tell her. No, I would never. <laughs> no, I was going to be real sneaky uh, and ask her, uh, you know, if the mics are equal, but now the cat's out of the back. Guys, that, who's too. Paige? There's, I don't see who's, I don't believe that this person exists. I mean, she might not. I just, the, the sounds are coming from somewhere. Mm-hmm. Are they coming from up your butt? Whoa. Art. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us about it. I've, we've already forgotten right. what it is. Segway. We need to be retrained. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you were, so you were looking for nude models the other day. How'd that so go? I wasn't looking for nude models, but there was there's an art teacher in the building that I'm doing my artist residency at that runs a nude drawing class, and he was looking for nude models. It's a paid gig, so if anyone wants to lounge around naked and have like 20 people stare at you with pens and pencils in their hands, let me know. Like when? Um, I think it was like Mondays and Wednesday afternoons or something. Like it's not a, a full time job or anything. I mean, but it's it's a gig economy. You get good at doing it Mondays and Wednesdays. Like, as soon you'll be booking nude gigs every day, right? Yep. Right. So do we do we need to put like the link for that up on the screen so that people can people can sign up? Um, it's not my thing. I'm just I'm pl- helping a friend mm. plug it into the world. So. What is your thing? My thing is, um, well, I don't know. Naps. All right. Is that, if that's what we're doing. <laughs> today, I, I told you the art is in your hands. So, I mean, I think you guys have hands too. You can like throw me a ball. Uh, okay. Um, so what we have here is I have an art cam set up. Okay. So if you had a plan for visual art, you can lay it all down there. Um, if you're plan, are you, like, do you want to pull out your, your magic bag or I, I can do that. It's just from my experience with the show is that there's no plan. So I, I also didn't plan. Well, but it's okay. I Paige has this covered. I'm so glad you did bring so, stuff. I, of course I did. Okay. There's also, I found out by accident, this magic desk I have is full of art supplies. I can wow. just start pulling things out of it at random. 
let's pull one thing out at the same time and try to compare them. How okay, about that? Okay. Um, we're gonna make it as random as possible. Mike, I want you to pick a drawer, top, bottom, or middle. Middle. I already checked mine out. Do you want to pull me to pull something from the top or the bottom of the drawer? Top. So a canvas. Yeah. And what do I have here, Kelly? A little bit basic. That looks like a cow outfit. It's got words, It's got the little letters. The description of what it is. Yeah, it's a cow morph suit. Yep. Okay. Wait, what is this? It's got burrs on it. This it's one's for you to wear? I was in the woods wearing this. Okay, as one does. Where else are you going to wear your morph suit? Like, so, on the train? That's who wants to pretty... wear a morph suit? <laughs> I feel like Kelly wore it last time, so... Yeah, that's yeah, I mean, the I'm answer. Curious. Enthusiastic, yes. I mean, yes. It's an XL, so it'll probably go over your clothes if that's what your plan was. You're gonna want layers. What what you want in this in this uh, confined basement with three people in a computer running is like mm. five or six layers. I mean, I usually wear it with nothing underneath. Just kind of the seamless look of you know, skin. The words go on the back. Yeah, you wouldn't want like a clothing line under your morph suit. Like that would get you laughed at a high society. It's okay though. We're, we'll let it slide. I don't even know if I've washed that. So like, don't worry about actually wearing it. Should we pull out something else while we do the wardrobe Actually change? wearing it as opposed to like, like she might just like, just wear it in spirit. It's, it's up to her. Okay. Well, she's, she's, she's got a plan. What's what's our next stage here? We take something. Well, what what about this canvas? Like it's it's wrapped, right? So to me, that symbolizes it's not available for use because it's wrapped up. It's yeah, I would. It's, it's it's available. We're being told it is available. It's available. It's in your hands. No one can okay. stop you. Okay. So walk us through the process of unwrapping a canvas. What are so, the things we need to keep in mind? So normally, what I, how I approach unwrapping a canvas, right? I'll just like go in with a with a nail and I'll just Yeah, that the ASMR is key. So it's a big part of our brand. You rip it you rip it off. Okay. And are you are you typically doing this one handed or are you just showing off for the I'm like showing off for the audience? Okay. Yeah, my MR is thoroughly AS already. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's fabulous. And you can see, right? Uh, yes. That's that's a confident yes. Let's move on and not uh, investigate any further. So glad this is happening. So next item. Okay. Am I pulling another one too? Yeah, we both we're both doing it. Um. Okay, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna surprise you here. Cause... Yeah, same. I'm gonna get deep. All right. This. All right, the infamous cowboy boot. Right. Those are going on you again. I don't think those are gonna fit not my gonna feet. Fit you. They're also just really nice. Okay. I mean, this. I think this shawl is gonna go amazing with the morph suit. Just... Yep. See, this is why we learned so much from you because I never would have assumed that like art involves so much dress up, but it's clearly everything. Why not? What kind of art are you doing, Kelly? Tell me. Um, like, I'm doing what you tell me to do. You're the art teacher. No, I mean, like, you know, when you spare time, what kind of art do you do? Oh, God. Um, is is making a, a fart soundboard for page uh, art? I would say so. Okay. Yeah. So I do a lot of art that I regret. Don't tell me that those were sounds you actually Luigi, recorded. what would your mother say? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not that talented. I just, I just took them off of the royalty free website and just like ran like a gremlin. So I can't tell you the context in which any of them were recorded, but you know, you can you can pick up a lot of the vibe, that's for sure. Okay, so what did what did you pull out? Did you pull something out? Uh yeah, I pulled out that like shawl thing and oh, like yeah. look at that. Now that is it's a full outfit. Right? Yeah. I think it would be fuller if like the, the morph suit head were on personally, but I'm I'm not in control here. So I guess there's there's a decision here. If you if I put the morph suit on, I'm not going to be talking. But what does it have like a ball gag built into it? Yeah, we can, we can hear you. 
Okay. Cool. Your voice actually sounds better. Like it's 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 very. You sound like I don't know who is like a famously nice voice. Scarlett Johansson. You sound like Scarlett Johansson now. I hear that a lot, like even in my day to day. Yeah. So I appreciate that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess it's kind of muffled, so it's like less shrill and shaky. Definitely, that was the first thing I noticed. I'm like, wow, is the shrillness gone out <laughs> oh of the room? <laughs> it's incredible. Hmm. Neat. Are we are we just going so, till we're out of things? Yeah. All right. So this, I, th- I think it's a maybe a toilet seat cover or just a seat cushion. But would also work as a hat. Um, I will put on anything you throw at me. Wow, you're just on board today. Yeah, that's what I, I like feel to like see. Just very lucky to be like on this side of the camera, <laughs> and like you're like on the couch with people, and not just like sitting here by myself. Yeah, you're not like the like the Oz behind the the wizard behind the curtain. Mm-hmm. That's not a good metaphor. Who's on a screen? The 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 one from that Apple commercial, where they throw the sledgehammer through the screen. That's who Nicole usually is. You look like a French, like it looks like a beret, mm-hmm. but it also kind of looks like something you clean the house with. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's but kind of like a mime in a weird cult. Where it's you're working. Not though. allowed like, to be visible. If you looked at this and you and you were asked who is the artist, I think you would guess the pink human. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I do fancy myself an artist, so. I'm falling behind. This is the one that came out with the uh, with the beret. So what is it, Kelly? Um, this is. I mean, can we just put everything on Nicole? Oh, <laughs> this is all right. Um, the, you can wear this like a nose, right? Like, where's that? Where's those rubber bands you gave me? I don't know. You can figure it out. You're smart. <laughs> Do you want anything to wear, Kelly? Or are we actually making Nicole wear everything? Uh. I mean, I'm, I'm not in control here. I will not say no to a single thing you tell me to do. You're in control. You're only your upper body's on camera, so... That can be changed. Well, we do have the latex assless chaps again that were worn the last time I was here. I don't want to steal Josh's thunder, Where but, is Josh? Uh, he's, uh, he had to go pull some orphans out of a burning building, so... Yeah. We also have the... It sucks when people again. have, like... When we have such amazing uh, talent surrounding us, they're often needed for things that aren't as horrendous as uh, as this show. So, I, you know, you have to give it to them for going in. Because, I mean, I was going to pull those orphans out of that building. I don't want to. I might get singed. Um, I think just to remain, like, fully anonymous, I'm just going to put this on. Yeah, I think we should mix it up. I wore that last face. time. But, I mean, I can wear the chaps. You can blur my face for the first half because I, yeah, this, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And I'll, I'll add all our uh, segment themes in post. It's going to be like, it's going to be incredibly Hollywood. Oh, hell yeah. I think you should wear it wrong because we wore it right last time. And I, I, I if you. Really fucking good, you guys. Look at that. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, I'm going to do it because I made the mistake of putting jeans on and jeans are the devil's pants. Uh, they should be. Uninvented. How are you doing over there? It's great. I love it. <laughs> Just like maybe we can. This put... is how I imagine that like people that don't want to wear masks in a store think that they feel when they're wearing a mask in a store. Does a morph suit count as a like? Does a morph suit block particles? As in like. Or legally, do you have COVID to wear safe? a mask? Yeah, like under or over your morph suit. I think that at this stage in COVID times, people would not question a single thing if you were wearing that. Yeah, I guess I'm trying to put ourselves back to like a year ago. Were you allowed to just morph suit in the grocery store? Yeah. That's, oh man, I missed every opportunity. I can see the particles forming already. Because like, they were It's cool. definitely catching some of them. They were cool back in like 2012-ish. Right. They yeah, were they, like, were, oh they were they were they were clearly ahead but of their time. Now they aren't cool anymore. They went so, passe with before the masks were needed, which is it's one of those great ironies of history, right? Uh, yeah, I would agree with that. All right, I'm gonna if I can actually move my hips here, I'm gonna go and put these on. <laughs> can I please know who Paige is? I'm so lost. And also, where's my mouth? Um, Paige is the magic. Yeah, what, what was the name of the Power Rangers? What was their... They were called the not Power Rangers? <laughs> the, no, they are like dad's name. Or not their dad, but you know what I mean. He's always on a screen. 
Paige, help me out. I feel like I've made it super clear I've never watched Power Rangers. Mm. This is where we need... Oh. So this well, yeah. um, balaclava was actually made by my good friend. Um, whose Instagram is in the spirit garden. And she does some awesome stuff, so check that out. Mm -hmm. And she made these uh, this awesome mask for me. I also have a green one. So I need to, you know, plug my artist friends when I use their beautiful creations in my... I notice it's, like, kind of fishnetty. Is it, like, keep your face warm? <clears throat> it's very warm right now. Nice. All right, I'm going to have to find a way to... Get your legs in there. Do you want to yeah, just switch Zordon. spots? Because... Thank you, Paige. This is a no, lot that's, of like... uh, I, I would never take away the vaunted, vaunted guest spot. No, see, like now, this is perfect because I'm comfortable, right? Well, but where's the ass, though? They're assless chaps. Well, the audience has got to earn that, right? Okay, um, that's fair. They got to they earn that by sticking with us. I'm going to slowly just kind of like... Oh. Yeah, just creep up over A time. Tease. With the occasional hint of thigh, right? Yeah. It's like clickbait, right? You got to have the thumbnail like will be from later on when it's just like wall to wall asses between us. But, you know, once they're once they're watching through the video, they're going to be like, well, this ass better be coming. And it might. <laughs> the ass better be coming. That's right. That's exactly how I'm going to phrase it. So I also brought. Um, this uh, modeling clay. So if anyone wants to. Okay, now this is Play new. Around. Oh, yeah. This I like. There's blue. There's pink. Right. Pink's definitely a theme, it seems. Is there, okay, so is there like a law about like, if someone hands you pink modeling clay, are you only allowed to make penises with it? Um, yeah. Okay. That's well, kind of what I did. I should have brought my penis model. I actually do have one in my studio. I'll send you a picture and you guys can put it in in post. Yeah. If that's a thing you do, I don't you know. You had you had a penis model, you didn't bring it? Yeah. Okay. Well, on your third go around. I also accidentally made one in, in my pottery class, too. So that was cool. Okay. Yeah. I mean, we could just make some right now and just compete. Yeah, to why like, don't we just do that? Do we could, do yeah, take it. We take could it all, build the rest so of can. Shrek's body. <laughs> <laughs> we can give him a whole new look. Well, we do need to, I would, yeah. Do you have any tiny pieces of clothing that will fit on that Shrek model? No. <laughs> what color did we say? Did we decide that Ogre's penises were? Was it purple or blue? Did we decide? Yeah. I feel like you wrote that. I mean, so. I wrote it, but I feel like there's a whole discussion later on. Right. Okay. Yes. I think it was purple because my idea was that the ogres ogres are generally blue. Right. <laughs> and then they. Uh, Get so engorged with blood that they turn purple because the red and the blue together. Also, as a pitch to our current viewer, uh, if you want to call into the show and instruct us on how to do this art, uh, you can get uh, our, our producer can like put an invite link for you in the chat. OK. What were we talking about just before that? Making right. Make no, I was looking for small clothing. <laughs> Why don't you make a shirt out of plasticine? It's right in front of you. Just kind right. of like. Don't, I can help here. I'll help you. I'm just gonna. It's roughly his size. I, I fucked up. It fell short. You're gonna have to walk all the way around just to get it. Oh boy. Okay, wait. We're all making a deck for Shrek? <laughs> yeah, he's gonna have three decks. I'm gonna make his shawl. Uh, yeah, I feel like we could all focus on a different body part because we've only, we've only got so many hours to get it done. I'm gonna make him a crown so he looks like Infinity the prince. Infinity scarf. Should should we put should we put Shrek on the art cam? Yes. Okay. Looks fucking creepy. Okay, so the art cam is on. Oh man, there's there's so much going on with this wow. camera layout now. Yeah, this is a lot. I love that. There you go. Oh no, I knew no what you're hear what you're saying about art cam. I didn't yeah. I didn't get that at first. Yeah, no fooling. Hmm. All right, so I feel like I've made one of his testicles. Okay, well, um, 
Is this too big? I'll believe it when I see it. We need the main well, feature. Here, I, I can split this into two. I could be okay. less lazy. Can you make one? I'll make the other. Yeah. So that's that's one. This is the other. Okay. What if we actually we each build it behind the desk where the other can't see it, and we're just gonna try to see if we can get the same size? Or we, do we want the same size? I hear that. Let's just each make our own choice, like right? All the rage these days. It's like rock paper scissors. We reveal at the same time. Right. But like, okay. So pick the size you feel is more conducive to like to being an ogre, I guess. Uh, while we're silently modeling, <laughs> uh, I mean, it is a it is a visual medium. We can we we can model in silence, but. Uh, why don't you tell us what's going on in town? You're doing you're doing an artist residency here. Yep. <laughs> uh, yeah, of all the three of us, you're going to have the hardest time talking while doing something. Actually, that's why I'm fully in favor of it. Yeah. So uh, what do you like? Are you get are you getting displayed? Are you going to be in a gallery? Yeah. So I'm going to have some work up at Loophole Cafe, which is in downtown Calgary. Don't ask me the address. It's near, um, you know that tank? There's like a tank by the armory or something. A tank? Yeah, like, a, oh, like down by the military museums? Maybe. It's by uh, the the Contemporary Art Gallery. Okay. I'm not familiar. Loophole Cafe. It's going up this weekend. Um, so go get some coffee and check it out. And then it's going to be, we're going to have a closing party on May, like, 15th, I want to say. It's a Friday. So that's a good time to come out, buy some art. Is that the May long weekend? No, it's the weekend before that. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So thir Friday, oh, Friday the 13th, guys. <gasps> yep. Can I open anything that's in here? Yeah, go for it. I have to use it all before I move away, so... I think I've got uh, I think I've got some arms in the works for for our for our we have now we have a nude model really when you think of it perfect so we can we if your if your friend is still looking for nude models we can build one stand that in the middle of their drawing class and then the students can just draw this yeah I don't think they're looking for uh, human anatomy or anything like that so yeah well what we're really doing is like the perfect form right it's like yeah higher than human it's ubermensch hmm. all right are you all ready show me your testicle uh i've lost it <laughs> no i got it all right, all right. oh you've even got a little dangling well i mean it's got to be connected otherwise yeah, again this fair. is one of those situations where you should be at the doctor right now yeah that's a fair fair assessment um there we go i don't know if you can see i put little veins on mine oh wow that's now you're just showing off <laughs> so i feel like Okay, so we have we have Shrek's shoulders upward and we have his genitals. I feel like there may be a bit of in between that might need to connect these things. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't know if you got anything in your weren't you working on the dick? Was I? It's a real flat. No, this is a shawl slash maybe hair because it's already got a scarf. Okay, so we're going to have to come up with something for a torso, it sounds like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're the one with all the, the bag of tricks there. Bro. I, I have a set of drawers that opens only partially. Uh, I'm now I'm now scrambling around the room for something. So you have a bust. Do you have any, like... Do you have any just, just torsos of animated characters on the shelves there? I'm very satisfied with the angle. To talk about my bust. That. Oh, Look that's good. Look at that good. smile, guys. Yeah. Hey. Okay, so. Would it be more manageable to make like Legolas's testicles? <laughs> we can also do that. I mean, it sounds like all of them are going to need it. <laughs> Wait, what if, uh, what if each of those was one of his limbs? Because one of them could be the leg, Alice. <laughs> and I mean, that's that's one pun down out of four. I don't know if we can workshop the other ones. Uh... 
<laughs> Paige says, move on. Oh, oh my goodness. Here we go. Oh, perfect. Yeah, we, we can use some of these to provide a little bit of structural integrity. Hmm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come around to the front here. Yeah, feel free to change it up. That's this is the art process, Kelly. Is it's it? all about fear and uncomfortability. Okay, then, then if, I mean, if that's the case, then this show has done an incredible job with art. I have to agree. Ninety percent of our our vibe here. Is that comment about Kelly or Shrek? <laughs> What's your creepy uncle story? Uh, my creepy uncle the, story. I don't know who wrote that. Someone wrote that in. Yeah, that's one of my. That was that's our one viewer. I I truly cannot see what is behind me right now, Apocalypse so I'm, I'm flying blind. Ethan. Uh, yeah, no, we can elaborate. Uh, I think they're saying that you have the face of a creepy uncle with your with your pink belt. I just on. want to know the story behind that. I mean, it might be traumatic, so you know what? It's fine, Ethan. Keep it to yourself. Oh, you want to know why Ethan really associates things with creepy yes, uncles? Exactly. That's a great question. Thank you. For the record, I, I think it's apoc Apocalypse then, but I appreciate, I think we should just oh, call him shit. Ethan from now on. I'm going with Ethan. <laughs> <laughs> We're going with Ethan. Yeah, no, I like it my way. I want it that way. Tell me why. He ain't nothing but a Shrek. Dick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I figured out the torso. Okay, well, I got some legs and one testicle. So I think I'm going to put them on Gimli. Can we get a, just a little bit of that plasticine as like a glue? Maybe yeah. just to keep. We need a platform. I don't know if it works that way. Also, I was going to eat that orange. I, that was like my like snack for later. <laughs> well, you know, these just came out of the package. They're basically sterile. Perfect. No Shrek's yeah. butt's going on to it. Well. This is, I mean, but it's like you say, art is about being uncomfortable with how clean the food you're about to eat. Yeah, I have to agree be. with that. I have food in my fridge if you would like. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is doing it. You know what? I think this is okay. Here's where the patriarchy got me again, because here I am making plastic t testicles and plastic penises. I didn't even think about making a plastic scene. Vagina. I did. Yeah, when you when you asked what we can make out of something pink, that's what I thought you were setting yourself up for. Oh. That was all you guys. I, I was just about to say, you know, you have the opportunity to create something and the first thing you go for is a dick. Mm -hmm. It's not very feminist <sighs> to me. Yeah, once again, I'm going to fully blame Not very hashtag hands were woke of me. That wheel. Oh, God damn. <laughs> all right. I'm glad I'm glad this is the main view people are seeing. I just like that I turn I turn my mic into into an art. <laughs> I like that. It's much prettier. Thank you. Where did all of the um, clips go? Oh, there's one, one here. Yeah, it's far too far for me to reach. But 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 but. Hmm? Yeah, you don't have your suit on. <laughs> well, I want to get this. Oh, I don't well, know. Like me, <laughs> Nicole's plan is to gradually reveal more skin throughout the show. It's oh. just. Yeah, Kelly said we need more viewers, so we're going to be slowly stripping. Guys, why aren't we on OnlyFans? <laughs> yeah. Well, this episode will be. Guys, write in. Should I start an OnlyFans? This is what I'm wearing. I mean, oh, with... Jesus Christ. I didn't catch that. Uncle story. Oh, with that I... outfit, you're, 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 you're insane not to. Oh. We can tilt this up a bit to get a little better angle on Shrek's angle. A nice little and shot on you, also have, you also have this too. <laughs> Dangle angle? Take it. <laughs> All right. So. Yeah. Some camel. A camel cam? So, OnlyFans screenshot. <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I should have worked on the angle there. Oh, boy. I have a solution to this. Uh, yeah. Uh, Micah, tell some funny jokes while I go solve this problem. So one of my art goals, um, actually, while being here in Calgary, was to work with um, robotics and uh, installations to make some kind of interactive sculpture that would 
be triggered by sensors and uh, set off something like like a motor or um, something, you know, a little bit interesting. Mm -hmm. So what I brought here today to, for us to play with. Now that's particularly interesting because I feel like a lot of artists would say they want their art to be free from censorship. Ah. Uh, where's the where's the sound no board? no i'm Please. preempting it it's a good joke i want the laugh track <laughs> that was delayed so i took these um vibrators wait what? out of uh out of these like foot massaging slippers that i had so i'm gonna assemble them did you take them out of like quote unquote foot massagers or actual quote foot massagers? unquote yeah. Kelly? Okay. So okay, so we've managed to get Shrek a body, but we still haven't. <laughs> where do you want? Where, where, where... We're making it into an installation. So the goal is that you can't tell that it's that it is what it is, it's just vibrating randomly. That's the goal. So I don't wanna be able to see the batteries or the button or the vibrator. It's gotta be hidden. So what you're saying is you want me to take this this vibrator and just quickly make it disappear? <laughs> that's that's what I'm fast. hearing. <laughs> yeah, we should be charging for this. Can you believe we're streaming this for free? <laughs> so, so for example, very bad example, but like quick sketch. Right. What are, you, what are you doing on my I'm Shrek? Really you, I took to hours. I'm art camp, guys. <laughs> I spent hours trying to get that Shrek down. What the? No. <laughs> okay, so let's so see what I'm doing I'm not here. good at the impermanence of art side of and things. Then, I actually have a hard time with it. Not a mandala guy. Oh, God. You seem shocked. It's yes. moving. So we've upgraded from... <laughs> Thoughts? If you were just right in. <laughs> We've we've moved up from thing that uh, has like a a distinctive form and you know like has thought going into it to like vibrating lump. I'm all for it to be clear. Vi vibrating lump is actually the title of my sex tape. <laughs> Guys are looking for it online. Only fans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, follow me on Twitter at vibrating lump. That's what I think we should do with our schedule. We should alternate between like public streams and uh, and OnlyFans streams. Does OnlyFans do streams? Probably, yeah. And probably, yeah. Okay. Yeah, then we can go so from I... having no no viewers on here to having no viewers on OnlyFans. How do I make it turn on? Button. Oh, I guess that would that would make sense. <laughs> okay, we're gonna find out how does the how does the the ASMR with the vibrator go. <laughs> Getting a lot of no's out of that. I'm going to hand this over to our pink monster over here on the right. Is that me? Play with. Yeah. All right. Get some tactile art going. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Okay. Yeah. I brought the goods. What do you guys expect? As always. All right. So I feel like I feel like we need to find a way to maybe make our Shrek vibrate. <laughs> I'm, straw. I'm gonna. I'm just straw. gonna take this thing back That's over again. Okay, Kelly's gonna do that. I'm gonna grab you a straw. <laughs> yeah. So, what's happening now? What's We're intermission? Gonna... I gotta pee. Oh well, we have a, we have a, a segue for that. But now everyone knows. All right. Big exciting developments here. Hold your breath, everyone. Come on, come on. You know what? That's good enough. So we've now we've now accomplished like I'm just gonna lay him down the other way. There we go. There's uh, now you're not getting the Shrek face as much. These are the these are the sacrifices we have to make. But I don't know. I think that's looking pretty good. Maybe I'll just put on a regular camera. <laughs> So this, oh yeah, the empty chair. 
beautiful look. So this is this is progress. Um, I think we could. There, there's now room for interpretation of what the front, what exactly the front clip actually is anatomically. Well, I did have a, some genitalia there, but it got discarded. Oh no! Oh, oh, I see. No, that'll that's going to work perfectly. Okay, we're gonna just get that right in there. Uh, it's gonna be a little, it's gonna be a little mush. It's gonna be a little ham wallety. Uh, what hole does this go? <laughs> great, great question. Please help. What are you, what are you trying to figure out? Which How hole? the straw works? Yeah, look. Oh, well, I mean, the thing is made of holes. You can We're choose good. anyone. They all work. <laughs> That's what he said? So many holes. Uh, absolutely. All right. Yeah. So it's That's time fair. to add to our to our human form the the piece de resistance, the uh, piece that people will find resistant. All right. Oh my God. Hell yeah! All right. So <laughs> it's such an aggressive vibrator. You said this was for a foot massage. Yeah, it came out of a slipper that has. How sore are people's um. feet? Well, it's it was like enveloped in soft fabric, so it kind of got muffled. Okay. Which was my, kind of my thought. Can I with can this I borrow your little too. vibrator sleeve there? Yep. So I think. I think the idea was you work. wouldn't know where it was coming from or what it was. You'd just be like, "What's this?" You know, robotic arousal machine. I feel like we have succeeded in doing something baffling. If that was just like the the larger idea there, like that's pretty close, right? Hell yeah, okay. You know, for someone who doesn't like waste, you sure ruined that orange so that it can't be used for eating. Oh no, we'll eat the orange. Okay. Well, I'll have a third of it. <laughs> All right, so let's flip back to the art cam here. Uh, <laughs> I call this piece Shrek's Ecstasy, or Shrekstasy. Oh, it doesn't move very much. <laughs> the, I think... <laughs> The plasticine is sort of just absorbing the vibration. Uh, so let's so uh, let's see it in action. Yeah. <laughs> action. I mean, do you does it is it interactive or does it just you just look at it um, as an art piece? <laughs> it was supposed to sort of move itself across the binder. So everybody, everybody, stay tuned. Uh, hey, what else is in your bag? So. Um, actually, I think we've gone through it all. I, I do have, uh, yeah, that's, that's all I have, but I, um, you can start going through the drawers. I've got this beautiful pink, um, you know, bag, a hat, maybe. Sure. Mm -hmm. Always. Mm -hmm. Then we can match Kelly. Uh, all right. One thing, one, one thing at a time here. I think I've got this. I noticed on your Instagram that your art tends to be pink. Is there, is there a reason that you're like drawn to that as a color? There's a few reasons. One of them is because it's traditionally associated with femininity. And I think that's something I'm really critical of. And um, the kind of like softness and weakness that is associated with femininity. Mm -hmm. I think that I try to kind of like reverse that by using pink in an almost like violent way. That's dripping. So you're all about violence. That's kind of what, well, yeah. I mean, once you've, once you've been vibrated for this long, you start to get a little damp. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I think our viewers would agree. The delay laughter is sign of success. All right. So this time, this time it's going to work. Do we have the art cam on? There you go. We got motion. Well, let's strap another one on. We got more, right? <laughs> we sure do. Where's another one? Oh, yeah. He's spinning out here. We're just going to mount it the exact same way. This. Hmm. I don't know how 
going to get the batteries on, but I guess they could both just loop over and then. Oh yeah. Now we're cooking with gas. Oh no, we've lost it. Uh, more jokes. Uh, Nicole, a joke. <laughs> Thanks, Paige. See, I think the reason it's not moving as much, is there a third one? No, only two feet. I think the reason it's not moving as much is because the, the, the vibrators aren't actually touching the surface. We just need to get a bit, get a bit lower with it. Pro know? tip. What? Uh, make sure the vibrators touch the surface that's, that's, and get lower with it. That's what we're doing. Yeah. Oh, that's the terrifying. vibrator isn't doing what you want, just move it to a different spot and try again. That's right. It's all about trial and error. Don't give up. Or you could just ask what Trek wants. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's a good point. It's communication, guys. <laughs> is, well, Shrek, is Shrek gagged right where's now? Where's the clitoris, Shrek? Something, looks like there's something over his mouth. <laughs> the, the clitoris is currently wedged behind this. This is sort of a chastity device, I think. So Shrek can only be pleasured by like stimulation of the armpits here. This is really uncomfortable, guys. Oh, is anyone cool. else like, why are we doing this? I, I mean, this is this is your art show. I didn't bring Shrek. You guys made Shrek the theme song of today. I can't. I can't argue with that. Why did Shrek come back from being cool? Like why from being like when did Shrek did Shrek was Shrek ever not cool? I think there was a little bit like between the time that we were children and the time that we were able to make memes that he wasn't. But then we found out how the internet worked and he's just been there ever since. I but, in no way um, like I wouldn't have expected Shrek to make an appearance tonight. Mm. I uh, had to bring him out as like a a tribute to our homie Josh and I Ryan, see. both of who are both of which are absent tonight. And they both like Shrek's like their daddy, so Yeah. Yeah, here That's we go. Fair. Shrek's to see. <laughs> well, that puts us at the you know, you, you keep working with that. That puts us at 57 minutes. Uh, I feel like we did it. I feel like we solved art. Yeah, I don't think any more art needs to be made now. Like we've, we've reached our peak art. I think this is the part of the show usually where you grade our performance. Ah, uh, me? Yeah, you're the art teacher, remember? Um, well, I contributed, so that's a conflict of interest. Mm -hmm. You could rate but us a on our plus. teamwork. Uh, 100% A+. Plus. Um, That's incredible. I think I got like a C- minus last time, so I think that makes me most improved. Particularly the part where the orange peel peeled back from the surface. Um, art cam. Yeah, so it's utilitarian because you wanted to eat the orange, and now it's already partway peeled. Like... This the, is what I'm talking about, everybody. The art is doing work for you. This is the part... This is, oh. <laughs> yep. If it looks like that when you're done, you've been too rough. So and let's. You need to apologize. Let's give it a second glance <laughs> without Shrek. How about that? How does this, now what do you guys think about that? It's kind of got an angry fish look. You know, you've got that like orange flap coming down. Like, I don't know. C can we pin this up, this, this one up large? Let's get a nice big view of, oh, that's what I'm all about. What happens if you turn it on? The question are we are we back down to only one vibrator yeah but See, it's that's... stronger it's even stronger guys <gasps> oh my god it just executed <laughs> yes it pulled out it's t it pulled out yeah we have two s yeah go get them well it has goals yeah it just went straight for that testicle yeah balls all right. <laughs> Kelly said it was too much stimulation. That's right. Okay. 
Thanks, everybody. Uh, can we get a can we get a rating from the audience on the art quality vis a vis their expectations? <laughs> As a participant, um, my expectations were nothing, and my uh, the art quality I'd say was like an eight out of ten, and seven of those points were going to Micah. So. I reject. I, I don't accept those points. <laughs> I take those as minus eight, actually. <laughs> um, this is did, this is actually like scratching away at the integrity of my master's degree. <laughs> That's fair. Fair point. I'm just such a good friend. That's why I'm here. We appreciate it. <laughs> Shout out to Shrek. I mean, look at that. What is this face? Yeah, well, Nicole, why don't you walk us through what's going on here? <laughs> on his face? Yeah. Well, I definitely didn't make that, but it does look like a bit of a face hugger, maybe. Tell us what that is. Have you ever seen Alien? Nope. Oh, well, shit. Um, so a face hugger in Alien is um, it attaches to your face and it implants an egg inside you, and that's how aliens get born, they grow inside your body, and then they burst out of your stomach. Spooky. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, I think uh, our GM might be here. Mm -hmm. Rip orange. Mm. Oh. I, I brought this as a snack. Yeah, it's fully edible. And I'll split it with you. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Yeah, he also has some fully edible bananas in the fridge um, that are totally black. So, I uh, I question his determination of what's fully edible. Oh, is Kelly staying here? Yeah. <gasps> I'm sorry, Nicole. Thank you. Yeah, she <laughs> lost a bat. <laughs> okay. Um, I need to send him an invite. So, uh, yeah, uh, you were going to read your vows out of that book, if I recall. Yep, I sure was. <sighs> oh. oh, good. There's an excerpt at the end from her next book, which is called Shafted, which I'm assuming is also an erotic novel, so... <clears throat> Before she connected, she caught her hands and carefully lay back in the tall grass out of everyone's view, taking Jenna down with him. Now look who's the wild one. And then Chase caught her lips, and with his caught her lips with his and delving deep, held on long past eight. So I think that's uh probably gonna be the main one. Holding on long past eight. Any, um, it's a rodeo reference, so it's uh, cowboys when they ride. Um, I don't know. I don't know if they actually call them broncos, but when they ride like bulls, they will. They have to hold on for longer than eight seconds. So steamy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's lots of little rodeo references in the sex scenes. I'm actually book. I'm into that. Yeah, I'm into rodeo. Hell yeah! <laughs> I didn't bring my cowboy hat. I was hoping you would so really? that you could like come on with your cowboy hat Fuck. after I read this, but I didn't. The bag was full. Yeah. It was full of supplies. Um, I'm surprised you just aren't wearing it all the time. You do you're yeah, wearing just, like, cowboy wear it, right now. Um, yeah, I started I'm making reels, guys. So um, you started making what? Reels. It's like the loser version of TikTok. Oh. <laughs> so I, I wear my cowboy hat for the reels. I think I saw one of your reels the other day. Was it was it the art one or the positive vibes one? The positive vibes one. That was fun to make. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you wanna do you wanna run this through one of those let's just just do a reel right now. Okay. Um let's we'll clip real. it for let's, you and you can share let's it. Let's get real. Oh god. Yeah. Where's that mute button? <laughs> so it it would be something like, Hey, are you feeling down today? You can ask some of my positive vibes. Whoosh whoosh whoosh. And then how do you get how do you get the vibes to them? Like do you kind of like email? You go them? like this. Whoosh, 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 you send them out. I was just gonna hit the camera. Yeah, they 
So that's another thing is the screen is actually a permeable object in which emotions can tr can transfer. Is it? Yeah. So affect works through like through your through the tips of your thumb and the camera screen. Wait, so you mean all the vibes that we've had on this show through our various episodes so far are being transmitted through to anyone watching? We're so sorry. It depends on like your intention and if you've manifested it. You know, if you're like looking into their eyes and you're like, here's my vibes. Okay, because I feel like that's exactly what we do. And I feel like it's not working. Uh, I I feel like if it has been working, we might be like le legally liable for some stuff. People's emotions are still their own responsibility, though. You can't, right? Like you can't take accountability for how you make someone feel. <laughs> That's <laughs> not how it works. As, listen, if you're willing to be our lawyer <laughs> uh, in that outfit. Yeah, you have a master's degree, right? That yeah, means you I'm law it, technically, right? yeah able to i've passed the bar so perfect yeah i passed the bar on the way home <laughs> oh my god did you stop in yeah that was one of the best jokes so far guys unfortunately <laughs> <laughs> we're doing our best i'm i'm trying to do phone things it's not going great uh he's on his way do you, is there another boot like that uh yes yeah, for you oh hell yeah it's good, right? You guys need to turn your mics into props. You can hire me. I will, I'll charge. Uh, we could talk about it after the show, what I'm going to charge. You can have 75% <laughs> of the money we make off this show. <laughs> you know what? You can take my share, too. You can have, like, a full... It's a negative. It's Kelly? a negative balance, guys. Yeah, don't don't bring you up to 85. <laughs>